this is what's kind of crazy to me because I don't know historically how we're going to talk about. It. See, like my grandfather, he fought during uh, the Second World War for the Japs, weirdly enough. Um, no, no, for the Australians. He killed a lot of Japanese, hated them till he died. <laughs> Love the food, hate the people, he used to say. <laughs> what a complex man. And I used to, I used to love listening when I was a kid, listening to him tell stories about killing Nazis. There was always something exciting about it, you know. I, I just don't know what I would tell my grandson about what's happened in history now. I imagine I'll be 80 years old, and I'll be sitting in my chair. And my grandson will be on the floor looking up at me adoringly. And I'll go, now, there used to be these people called Arabs. <laughs> and they lived in the Middle East, or as you call it, the radiation zone. <laughs> in 2020, President Macaulay Culkin got really upset with the Arabs and he nuked them all. But what Macaulay Culkin and the rest of the Americans hadn't realised was that China had slowly but surely become the superpower of the world. So while the Americans were nuking the Arabs, the Chinese nuked the Americans. And that's why we have no Americans and no Arabs. And then my grandson would look up at me and go, Mashabawa. <laughs> you know what I like about that joke? It has the feel of racism, but you can't pick the exact moment. 